Mr. Speaker, since 1973, at least 58 million uh, unborn children have been killed by abortion, a staggering loss of children's precious lives, a death toll that equates with the entire population of England. Despite the staggering loss of children's lives and the sad fact that President Obama is using stealth, deception, and coercive power of the state to promote abortion violence, including the massive public funding of abortion on demand in Obamacare, the pro-life movement is alive and well and making serious, significant, and sustained progress. Yesterday, Congress passed landmark legislation to end taxpayer subsidies for Planned Parenthood, and special thanks go to Speaker Ryan, Majority Leader McCarthy, Chairman Price, and others in leadership for crafting this life-saving legislation. In this Congress alone, powerful pro-life measures have passed, including the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, and the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. On the state level, 282 pro-life laws have been enacted since 2010, including laws to stop dismemberment abortions, require a 72-hour waiting period, and to provide informed consent. And the March, with the March for Life only a couple days away, pro-lifers are more determined, faith-filled, and hope-filled than ever. Millennials are overwhelmingly pro-life, as the former head of the pro-abortion group NARAL observed after witnessing a recent pro-life march, the March for Life. She said, I just thought, my gosh, they are so young. There are so many of them, and they are so young. Public opinion polls concur that more Americans, especially women and young people, are pro-life. 71% of the millennials oppose taxpayer funding for abortion, 69% of the women. 59% of women favor a limit uh, on abortion at at least 20 weeks when, I'm, uh, when the unborn child is capable of feeling pain. The Gallup poll has found that Planned Parenthood's favorability rating among women has dropped 24 points among women in the last two get decades alone. A few minutes ago, Mr. Speaker, Speaker Paul Ryan Enrolled H.R. 3762, sponsored by Dr. Price, a bill to roll back much of Obamacare and to defund Planned Parenthood. Yes, the president, President Obama, the abortion president, is all but certain to veto that bill to defund the Planned Parenthood. And I just have to say, Mr. Speaker, how sad is that? The president has everything, but sadly there is no room, no empathy for the babies who will be exterminated. Uh, that is tragic, and hopefully he'll have a change of heart at some point in his career, uh, and hopefully it'll be within weeks.